So today's video is going to be on my um, top nail polishes that I really like to use and kind of um, a little bit of my nail routine and my nail journey. I know nails are something that I think every girl kind of struggles with um, because there's so many options out there. There's acrylics, there's gel, there's um, just regular polishes and things like that. Now, like most girls, I was 16 years old and I went and got my first set of acrylic nails for a dance. And that's kind of where my nails started to be really brittle and thin and break. And um, on top of it, I also had a nail biting problem. So I would bite my nails all the time. Um, the skin around my nails would get really um, dry and red and bleed and things like that. And it was just a really big struggle. It was just something that I could not break um, to save my life when I was younger. I just, I always bit my nails. And honestly, I can't really tell you what I specifically did to stop biting my nails. I honestly really think that I kind of just grew out of it because in the beginning I tried, you know, all of the, the no nail biting things, the, um, you know, the stuff that makes your nails taste really gross. I try to keep my hands busy if I went to go buy my nails, always having something in my hand. Um, none of that worked. I just, I just didn't. And I mean, even sometimes now I will catch myself doing it, but um, my husband's really funny because he will, he'll yell at me because he thinks chewing on nails are like the grossest things ever. So he really kind of keeps me on top of it and tells me um, to stop doing it when I'm doing it. And I don't realize that I'm doing it. And I think that's the problem. I think people who do bite their nails don't really understand or realize when they're doing it. It's just a habit. What I had to do was just completely stop wearing acrylic nails. I think that they look gorgeous. It was a good way for me to always um, have my nails look nice. The skin around my nails didn't um, get dry. I didn't pick at it or anything like that. And it just, it really helped me maintain really nice nails. But it was just so bad because I would get tired of my acrylics, I would take them off, my nails would be so flimsy, I couldn't stand the feeling of my nails being really thin and brittle so then I would bite whatever nail I had off. It was just, it was a terrible cycle. So I just had to basically stop wearing acrylic nails. Um, however, I did have acrylic nails for my wedding um, but then I immediately took them off so I had them on for probably about two weeks. So I keep my nail tools in one of my birch boxes and you can see that this is really disgusting because I put fingernail polish remover and fingernail polish and stuff on it. But I keep all of my current favorite nail polishes that I've been using in a box like this. It's really easy to store. Um, I have all of my um, cuticle clippers and my files, and my buffers, and my um, manicure kits. I keep all of that stuff in that box. And one thing that I do recommend if you're starting to grow your nails out and you really want them to get healthy, go get a manicure. And um, the, way, the reason why I say that is because they do such a good job of getting all your cuticles out, um, clipping them off, shaping your nails, and that can really kind of set a good foundation for growing healthy nails. Um, I will go and get a manicure done every now and then just because honestly I like when they um, massage your hands at the end. <laughs> That's literally why I like it so much. Um, but for the most part, I do it myself. And um, I will go, like if my nails are kind of getting out of control and I haven't been able to do a manicure on myself in a while, I will go and they'll kind of take off all of the cuticles and things like that and it just kind of gives me a fresh start again. I really recommend um, this kit that you can get at um, Target actually. I'm sure you can get it at other places but it's um, tip to toe all you need for feet and hands. So if you do your toes as well as your hands, things like that, um, these are really great. And I just go to like Sally's and get a bunch of files when I really need them. Let's start off with the bases. The base that I really love to use on my nails is the, um, the OPI Nail Envy. Um, this is just the original one. 
I love this. This is basically just a nail strengthener. I will do two coats of this on the base of my nails and I let it dry. Sometimes if I want to let my nails have a break, I will just do a couple coats of these. Um, of this polish and it just gives it a really nice kind of shine um, and it just kind of lets my nails breathe which is really good but I always always use this and I really think that this has helped me a lot and my number one top coat is the Sally Hansen um, Insta Dry. I always have multiple um, sets of these on hand because I use it all the time. This is the best top coat. It dries so quickly. It dries really nicely. Um, the only problem that I find is that it does get a little thick after a while. So that's why I feel like I have to continuously go and um, and buy them. But I, I just really like it. And it's $4 and I think it's the best um, top coat on here. So let me just get started. Um, let's start off with the, my favorite Nicole polishes. Um, and I actually got these two nail polishes in a set that I purchased at TJ Maxx. And I think I got both of these for, um, for probably around $4.50, something like that. It wasn't super expensive, and you guys know how expensive polishes can be um, just by themselves. So... This was actually part of, I think, the Kardashian collection because the names of these, um, this one right here says Ethers Pale by Kim Parison, and then this one is Nothing Kim Pears to Blue, and I think that this is for Kim Kardashian. Um, I love I love these colors. I love this blue. This is really, really similar to Essie, um, the Bikini Sotini. This is one of my other favorites. This one is a little bit more sheer and has a little bit more sparkle than this one, um, but I love both of these. I think that these are so nice because they just they stand out on your nails really well, and every time I wear these colors, I always get compliments, and I think that's great when someone compliments your nail polish color. So um, I really like these two. The CoverGirl Outlast Stay Brilliant. These are both fairly new. Um... There's a bazillion colors, and I will probably end up going and getting every color eventually. Um, I love the consistency. I think that they just are a really great color. Um, I got these two to kind of go together. You know how you have your ring finger a different color. I painted all my nails this color and my ring finger this. Um, this is number 200. And the thing about these is they don't really have names. They're just numbers. So this is number 200 and this is number 235. I think that these go really, really well together. The next one I have is this Orally Polish. Um, this one I got from TJ Maxx as well. This is kind of a gray shimmer that can kind of turn a little bit of green. Um, this one is called Sea Girl. And in the light, it looks a little bit more green than what it does in the bottle, but I absolutely love the consistency of these po these polishes. Um, they're just they're really thick and they're really creamy. You don't really need a lot of coats to them, which is what I really like about it. But um, I also got this at TJ Maxx, so that is a great place to go and find polishes. Sally Hansen, and this is the salon manicure, so it is supposed to have a base coat, top coat, everything in it. I always still use a top coat and a base coat when I use these. The reason why I always purchase these polishes is because of the brush. They have that flat, um, that flat wide brush, which is so easy to paint with, and I love it. I wish every nail polish company would do that. But um, yeah, so this is like my dark blue that I always go to. Um, this one is called Thinking of Blue, and it's number 460. They usually always have this color, but I actually was at one Target a while ago and they had it on clearance. So I don't know if they're getting rid of it. I haven't looked or had to like obviously try to purchase it again. So I don't know if this color is going to be gone, but um, they're originally around $6 a piece. And then I got this one for clearance for $3.27 from Target. So this is like my go-to 
kind of blue color and I have one that's very similar in another collection that I'm going to show you but I just I love painting my nails with this because of the brush. Maybelline Color Show and again here is another blue that I really like to wear. Um, this is a true like cobalt blue and this is number 360 in Sapphire Siren. I just wore this the other day. A lot of people really liked it. It looks really rich and beautiful on the nails. Then I also um, purchased the 270 and this one is in Dress to Kill. And this one, it looks a lot darker in here but it's just kind of a really deep kind of cherry maroon wine color. Very classic, beautiful, a deep red wine color. And it looks really great on all skin tones too. If you want something that's dark but not black, this is the best one for you. And every girl should do this at least once in their life and it's paint their nails red. I love this red color from Avon. It's their Nail Wear Pro. And this is in N400 and it's just called Real Red. This is so beautiful. It's so classic. It can go with anything. It is honestly the best red that I could find. Um, the other one that I really like is the um, Big Apple Red from OPI. So onto the polish that I actually have on my nails now, which you can see is super, super light, but it's one of the new Revlon. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's the Brilliant Strength Nail Enamel. And this one is in number 60 Allure. This one is such a really good color. Um, it does come out a little bit streaky. Um, so you do have to do like two or three coats. I just have two coats on my nails, but you can see that it's a little bit opaque still. Um, this one again has that wide brush, which I absolutely love. Another reason why I purchased this I always look at the brushes before I purchase something um, because I really think that the brush is such a huge contribution to getting the perfect nail color. So I really love that one. I think if you want something that's really classic for even a wedding, I could see people wearing this for their wedding, um, I would recommend this color. Is this color from Sonia Kashuk and it's the um, just a Sonia Kashuk nail color. I got this at Target, and this one is in Tumultuous Teal. This is such a beautiful color. Um, if you don't want a cobalt blue and you don't want a bright blue, this is just a perfect kind of green sort of blue color that people kind of look at it. They look at it twice because they don't really know what color it is exactly, but it just looks so beautiful on the nails. The consistency is really great with her polishes. They're not super expensive, um, but you can just see how like luxurious that color is. The brush is actually really good quality. It's not super wide, but I really like that the stem of it isn't long, and I feel like you can get really in there and you have really good control over um, the nail polish and the nail brush. So I love these. She only has a few colors. Um, in her collection and I don't know if she brings them out like spring, summer, fall or anything like that but I do want to purchase some more of these. Um, I think that they're really, really nice. Those are all of my favorite nail polishes that I have purchased and why I like them. Um, I will continue to buy nail polishes because it's probably one of my favorite things to do um, when I'm just sitting at home being bored and doing nothing. So yes. Girls, do not bite your nails. I know it's so hard and you will get there and believe you me, it'll get better and it'll get easier and it'll just be so much fun. When you have beautiful nails, it's like one of the funnest things to do is paint your nails and I just love it and I think it's so much fun and it's one of my favorite things to do um, as a girl. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see maybe a tutorial on how I do my own manicure and things like that and actually use the um, tools that I have, um, please feel free to let me know. But um, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my videos and let me know if you want to see more and what videos you would like to see. Alright, have a good day guys.